Hello friends, I am Dr. Vivek Jain, Faculty of Preventive and Social Medicine and author of books like Review of PSM including Biostatistics, Exam Preparatory Manual for Undergraduates Community Medicine and PSM for FMG and several other books in the field of medicine. Today we will be discussing Styrene Gas Leak which was a recent extent in India and Chemical Disasters Topic Overall. Friends, on 7th May 2020, early morning around 2.30 am, there was a leak in the refrigeration unit of an industrial plant in Vizag or Vishakha Patna. Several hundreds were hospitalized. Several thousands had to be evacuated. And several humans as well as animals died also due to the tragedy. This Vizag gas leak on 7th May 2020 brought back the memories of infamous Bhopal gas tragedy of India where thousands were affected in a single day and thousands died in a single day due to leakage of methyl isocyanide gas on 3rd December 1984 in Union Carbide plant at Bhopal. According to Vizag commissioner, in the city of Vizag on early morning there was a leakage in LG Polymers plant at Gopalapuram on outskirts of Vizag. Now friends, most important thing you should know, which was the actual gas leakage or exposure to the population in this Vizag gas tragedy? It was styrene. So styrene gas resulted in all the manifestations. Friends, which type of epidemic this was? If you see on a single day, Hundreds were hospitalized, thousands were affected. So very similar to Bhopal gas tragedy, this was a type of, you can see there was a sudden rise in number of cases. Of course with proper treatment there was a sudden fall in number of cases and single peak. So this was a single exposure occurring from a point source type of epidemic. When we go into detailed epidemiology of this tiring gas leak, you should know that there were 12 deaths reported at the time of recording this interview. More than 200 were admitted in different hospitals and over 5000 people were affected overall. Five villages in Vishakha Patnam were mainly affected by this accident. Styrene polymer plants was the source of leakage of this gas working through LG electronics. Short term manifestations may lead to respiratory problems or irritation in eyes, mucous membrane or GIT. Long term manifestations may affect central nervous system and it has been found to be associated with depression as well as carcinoma. Friends, if you look at disasters, what exactly is a disaster? Wherever 30 or more people simultaneously require hospital emergency services or the requirement of emergency services outrun the capacity that is available with a particular health system qualifies it to be a disaster. Disaster is of two types, natural man-made, natural could be hydrological like flood tsunami, geological like earthquake. When we look at man-made disasters, this could be like industrial accidents, warfare or railway or train accidents. A subtype of industrial accidents which may result in man-made disasters are chemical disasters. Now going into the details of chemical disasters, chemical disasters have mainly Three sources. What are these three sources? These are manufacturing and formulation installations, which may occur during any phase of production of a product, materials handling and storage, transportation phase also. Positive factors for chemical disasters are broadly five types. These are number one, fire. If there is a fire in the factory or the industry, Number two is if there is an explosion. Number three, if there is a toxin release. And number four is poisoning. And there may be a combination of two or more such factors which may result in a chemical disaster. Now when we look at impact of a chemical disaster, it is of two major types or we can say mainly two major forms are affected. One is the living organisms themselves including humans and animals. And other is the environmental component of it. Now, chemical disasters management in India, if you friends look, guidelines include regulatory framework, preparedness in terms of training and infrastructure and capacity building, 
along with medical preparedness research and development response relief and rehabilitation phase after a disaster strikes or there is a disaster impact guidelines should be there for state and district level and emergency plan preparation should be carried out both off site as well as on site now approach to implementation of guidelines how do we approach it first is prepare the action plan number 2 implement and coordinate at national level state level district and right up to the community level number 3 appropriate linkage should be established with state support systems number 4 financial resources should be there for implementation of the plan and number 5 an implementation model should be brought into place now when we look at disaster management in india the national level authority for disaster management in india is national disaster management authority chair person of national disaster management authority should know is the prime minister of india this authority had been established through national disaster management act year 2005 now a specialized force constituted under this national disaster management authority of india is ndrf national disaster response force what is ndrf ndrf includes 12 battalion forces from crpf central reserve police force cifs sf central industrial security force bsf that is border security force itbp indo tibetan border police and ssb sahastra suraksha bal along with ndrf ndma has also constituted nidm national institute for disaster management whose major focus lies on training and capacity building in the country related to disaster management in india now friends when we look at legal provisions for chemical disaster management in india there are several acts and legislations out of which most important i have written at the last is the disaster management act of the year 2005 beside that explosive act petroleum act factories act 1948 insecticide act environmental protection act 1986 Motor Vehicles Act 1988 Public Liability Insurance Act 1991 also provide the overarching provision for this management in India now friends we come to the all important what to do at individual level suppose there is such an industrial disaster accident or a chemical disaster in your near vicinity so you have to be very careful about the precautions to be taken i will say number 1 do not panic number 2 evacuate calmly and quickly and if possible evacuate perpendicular to the wind direction overall keep a wet handkerchief or piece of cloth or sari on the face keep the sick elderly weak handicapped or you can say people who are incapacitated to move inside the house only and close all the doors and windows very very tight do not consume the uncovered food or water during these times change into fresh clothing immediately after you have reached a safe place wash your hands properly and repeatedly also you must focus that you should inform fire emergency services by calling 101 police personnel or services by calling 100 and medical services ambulance services by calling 108 respectively listen to public address system this public address system could be of the plant or the factory where the leakage has occurred or it could be the local radio tv channel for advice from the concerned authorities provide accurate information to a government official when asked inform others at public gathering places like parks schools so that they can also be or they could also be evacuated at a appropriate time do not spread rumors it will do more damage than benefit friends i thank you i ask you to subscribe to my youtube channel dr vivek jain psm and i will keep on posting regular updates in the form of video updates mcq discussion any new update in the field of preventive and social medicine or exam mcq video discussions also you can also join me online through several platforms directly you can come in contact with me through my mobile video lecture based app dr vivek jain psm available both for android and ios platforms 
Facebook, you can like my page, Dr. Vivek Jain PSM updates. I will keep on sharing regular updates. You can also visit my website. You can email me any query, comment, suggestion, anything you want to know related to the subject. WhatsApp is also a very good medium for us to stay connected. Telegram, you can join my group, Dr. Vivek Jain PSM. And on Instagram, I have got two particular accounts. One is my personal one, that is Doc Vivek Jain. That you can join if you are interested in photography and traveling. And my academic account, as listed on the screen, is Vivek Jain PSM, where I keep on sharing regular updates of PSM. Friends, you can download my video lecture based mobile application PSM by Dr. Vivek Jain from the Play Store. This is available for both Android platform as well as iOS platform through the Play Stores respectively. Friends, thank you. I wish you all the best in your forthcoming examinations. Thank you.